from Chicago to across the globe. Be ready for the best OPM and the best DJs. The ultimate radio experience. Ladies and gentlemen, this is One Radio. Okay. Good evening okay. and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is DJ Eric of the number one Pinoy radio station here in Chicago, Illinois. Bringing you closer to home, one radio. Tonight we are joined by two notable artists in the Philippines, starting off with Mr. Luke Mejares and, of course, Nina. Thank you so much. Good evening, good morning, everyone. <laughs> good morning, my good time, my good But, of course, let me go ahead and ask you some questions to kind of um, start off our interview. The first question that I have is, um, what was your initial reaction when the U.S. Tour project was pitched in to you? Um, thank you for that wonderful question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Formal, eh, no? <laughs> Ang Miss Universe. You know what? Uh, sobrang, uh, I'm, I'm uh, overwhelmed. Yun yung ano talaga. Kasi itong show na to ay uh, planchado na eh. Uh, as Nina, as the uh, uh Uh, concert performer and uh, nakahabo lang ako ng konti kasi uh, yun nga, kay Bing po si Cheche and then yun and I'm so happy na uh, kahit pa paano nakasingit ako <laughs> nakasingit Ay, of course uh, Nina, I'm, I'm a big fan of Nina and we've been working together uh, here sa Pilipinas uh, every, every time na may concert siya ay uh, uh, lagi akong nag-guest And this time, this is the first time na magkasama kami ni Nina uh, out of the country. So, sobrang excited and sobrang saya. And every time naman na makasama ko si Nina ay eh, walang problema kundi sobrang magaan katrabaho. So, and of course, uh, balik ulit sa live gigs. Uh, Diyan pa sa US, di ba? So, sobrang masaya, sobrang saya. Sobra. We're so glad to hear that. And of course, Nina, what was your initial reaction? Um, with me, I was, uh, you know, pretty much excited when uh, the U.S. tour um, was pitched in and natuloy siya kasi um, I think this is the first concert, a live concert, and ano pa siya out of the country at that. Parang sinasabi nga ni Luke na sobrang excited kami as artists. to sing live kasi lagi na lang kami online usually nagko-concert ako I've been um, having a lot of concerts here in the Philippines pero online naman siya pero iba din kasi yung feeling na pag um, live talaga eh kasi iba yung rush ba yung adrenaline rush and everything that you will feel every time uh, you hear the screams syempre iba rin yung makakakanta ka lang makakakanta ka rin lagi Pero pag online, syempre hindi mo mafeel kung appreciated ka ba. You will only see the yung mga messages ng mga ng mga nanonood. Nakaka-flatter din, nakakatawa. Pero iba yung talaga, woo, yung sigawan. Eh. So, nakaka-excite talaga. Nung especially, yun nga, first first out of town show namin ni ano, ni Lo. We're talking about live audiences, no? Medyo nag, nag ano kasi tayo, nag adjust ulit with the live audience. And Nina, um, yeah. actually, it would, that was a big part of your career, your live audience, be, being um, yes. the audience is being so immersed. You know, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Now, the next question is, you mentioned about the live audience. When was the last time you performed with a live audience? Recently, I bumabalik na rin ang mga live shows here in Manila. And uh, yeah. last week, I had a show in, uh, uh, where, where was that? In Carmona, Cavite. So, pero ayo medyo hindi pa ganoon kalaki, medyo small crowd lang. So, that was last week and uh na, sobra na kasi, ano ba 'yun? Ah, uh, nakakaba kasi minsan parang feeling mo kinakalawang ka na na matagal lang <laughs> interact sa mga audience. Mo. And oh. <laughs> Well, uh dito dito naman karamihan ng shows may mga antigen testing, di ba? So, safe naman mag mag bukas ng bibig but Yung audience eh, hindi naman naka-antigen, pero malayo sila sa iyo. But alam mo yun, may konting kaba kasi ay, COVID is still, is still here. So, kaba, excitement, but uh, masaya pa rin. Last week. Wow, that was recent, mm-hmm. no? 
What about you, Nina? When was the last time you had a live audience? I think that was um, like, was it last week then or two weeks ago? Like, because sometimes there are also ano eh, there are also um, like requests for you as like mga private parties and all. So, hindi ko na alam kung <laughs> lindo yung pinaka recent. So, re- siguro mga like last week then last week. Then. Was my recent concert. So it really is opening up. A few up people, in the not really, not really a lot of people, but a few lang talaga. Kasi parang hindi parin kami to matanggap ng parang talaga too too crowded. Kasi mahirap talaga. Eh. Kung baga siguro parang pa ilan ilan lang ganon. Pero pag sabi nilang parang mukang woodstock, hindi siguro pa pa yun. So both of you guys are also taking precautions in in um. Yeah. Accepting gigs or or work, pagdating sa mga live audience, I see. Um, of course, in compare in comparison dito sa US, medyo talagang open na. We don't even have masks oh, on. My. And oh my, I it, see. Oh. It really, and it is still the same situation. But then you know people are also clamoring for going out and and you know getting back into their lives, which is actually a good thing for us, right? <laughs> Because um, with yeah. you guys coming in, that's One of the big steps the Filipino community would would be a part of in coming back to the entertainment industry. Next question: um, <clears throat> What song would you say helped you find a spot in the OPM industry? A, a specific song that you believe has placed you in a as a notable artist in the OPM industry. Sige ako muna. Alam mo na na. Nakakatawa yung sa akin kasi syempre uh, naging naging thankful ako and sobrang <coughs> proud na naging member ng South Border and uh, mm-hmm. sobrang fan ako ng South Border naging singer ako and after that naging solo ako but ang nakakatawa kasi ako lang yung singer ng South Border na walang hit song <laughs> alam mo yan oh, <laughs> yes yes and pero kahit na ganun talaga ba <laughs> oh, oh, ako lang, ako lang yung wala. Hindi naman kasi halata. Halata. Di ba? Parang sa kanya lang nagbata. Pero si like si Bricks, di ba? Siya yung Love of My mm. Life, kahit kailan. Mm. That, that was from the first album, mm. yung songs na yon. But mm-hmm. alam mo yun, kahit pa paano na associate parin sa akin every time mm. na sa labas ako. Na uy, kahit kailan or Love of My Life, ganon. So mm-hmm. kahit na hindi ako yung original singer non. Parang dahil naging member ako ng South Border, parang yun pa rin yung ano, nakikilala ako dahil sa songs na kahit kailan na love of my life. And thankful pa rin ako. I think you delivered it so well that we didn't care that it came from somebody else. <laughs> oh, you know, parang urig, di ba? Parang urig oh, kasi. Yeah, you performed it so well, you own <laughs> May nabagay. <laughs> meron akong, meron akong ano, live version na pala. So, yun. Uh, pero yun, si Nina, ay nako, hindi mabilang yung mga hit songs. Hindi mabilang, no? Let's go ahead and, um, <laughs> and ask Nina the same question. <laughs> Bat- bata pa lang ako, napapanood ko yung sa MTV. <laughs> bata pa lang ako. Wow! I remember, Talaga, I actually sige, remember ah, liking, ako. I think with Nina, I remember liking the song These Dreams. I think one of your first uh, per- performances on TV that I, you know, became a fan of. And mm. from then on, medyo finalo ko na si Nina. So, <laughs> let me ask the same question. Um, which song helped you find a spot in the OPM industry for you, Nina? I think, because um, I came out with, with with Heaven from my first album. So, um, yung iba, parang hindi pa kasi nila medyo alam na Filipino pala ako. So, kala na, kasi iba rin yung parang yung video. So, parang feeling nila hindi ako Filipina. So, parang hindi ko alam kung Thai or ano na naisip nila. So, yun. Tapos, yung nung lumabas yun, parang I I came out with another single which was Jealous. Jealous, I think. Tapos, yun. Was an, that was an original song kasi. And, um, tumatak din sa mga tao. So, parang um, yung meaning ng song and everything the way I I sang it so parang iba naman sa pandinig nila and yung third song was parang I think foolish heart foolish heart yun eh um yun yung medyo mas tumatak sa kanila kasi the song had a whistle 
in it. So parang, medyo, nung jealous, medyo nakikilala na ako as, ay, Filipino singer pala siya. But when I came out with the song Foolish Heart, so, yun, parang medyo nawindaw yung mga tao siguro. Na, parang, oh, may miss. Ang daming nabaliw. Yung lumabas yung Foolish Heart, ang daming nabaliw. I think oh, it is safe parang, to say, ay, oh, I think it is safe to say that Nina actually molded the music industry when it comes to live performances and the style of music to me ka talaga pumutok talaga when Nina came out with all of these songs that um, she had made popular during the, during that time and I was one of those talaga na always <laughs> listening to it if we were if we were to count kung may mga Spotify counts on noon ako talagang record breaking na noon pa <laughs> ang total number of um of um, what do you call this of hits uh, number of times that you listen to the song that was that was beautiful you know I wasn't expecting oh, those songs to be the best hits that um, you've had you know expecting um, love moves you know as one of them because I think that was the song that really got stuck in my head and yeah, meron, yeah. meron akong i-add ng konti pero pwedeng tanggalin kung ano pero <laughs> ito si Nina one, isang gig way back early 2000 yun Uh, umuwi ako, madaling araw, pagod na pagod, tapos usually nanood ako ng TV, so MTV. Tapos nakita ko yung kumanta siya ng Heaven. Sabi ko, wala. Sino to? Akala ko talaga, Malay- yun yan, Malaysian or Indonesian or Thai. Uh, <laughs> Oo ang, nga, naalala ko yung kinuwento mo sa akin. Uh, yeah. Ang galing, ang, ang, ang ganda ng kanta, ang ganda ng singer. <laughs> 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 Talaga ni research ko yun. Kasi no pa. Oh, sino tong nagaling na singer na to? And then I found out na Nina. Oh, wow, tapos Pilipina. And yun na. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, na ako ng album. Ma. <laughs> you were singing then, look. I was I was still were a part of Were you performer then when you were Yes, I was I was still a part of South Border at that time. Uh, galing akong gig, madaling araw. Basta di ko makalimutan yon. Pagod na pagod ako. Pero napanood ko siya sa MTV na wala yung pagod. Sino? <laughs> oh, nagulat. Such a breakthrough artist, no? <laughs> uh, Kwento sa akin yan ni Papa. Let me move on to the next question. The next question that I have is, Can you share the story behind your title, Luke, as the Blackbird of Asia? How did, the, how did that come about? Uh, mga, mga kaibigan yung nagbigay sa akin nun. Kasi uh, there was a time kasi na parang, oh, R&B King, ganyan. And of course, si JR, R&B King din. So, parang sabi ko, wag na kay JR na yun. Baga siya naman yung, alam mo yun, masap, masap, dudong, alam mo yung... R&B talaga. So, since may mga kaibigan, ah, alam na namin, since meron akong uh, quarter na black, konting pagka-black, and of course, lalim mi salute siya is Asia's Nightingale, Eugene Pilasquez, uh, Asia's Songbird. So, sabi, ah, tama-tama, blackbird ka. Ganyan. So, nagsimula lang sa kulitan, tapos hanggang ngayon, nadala na siya na pati yung album ko ni-release noong 2017 ang title ay The Blackbird. So, wala talaga siyang seryoso na background kung hindi kalokohan ng lahat. Hindi <laughs> ba may iba pang meaning kung bakit Blackbird? <laughs> Dahil sa kulay ko. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya lang, ano na eh, hindi lumalabas, medyo <laughs> brown na ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Moreno, moreno na si, si Luke. Eh, diba? <laughs> And then the same question goes out to Nina. Nina is not only before because you started out as the soul siren, no? Yeah. Mm-mm. And then it evolved to um, Asia's <laughs> diamond soul siren. Let's talk about that, Nina. I mean, that's that says a lot about the um, the victory of a soul siren. So if you may, can you t- share the story about that? Okay, before it was soul siren, because um. Warner Music pegged me as the soul siren kasi parang when I sing, it comes parang it comes from the soul daw talaga. Very soulful. And kaya siya nagkaroon ng siren kasi nga because of the whistle register of my voice. Diba? So, soul siren. So, it makes sense naman. So, and I loved it. Tapos, um, 
Kaya siya naging, eventually, naging Diamond Soul Siren. Kasi um, when I received the Diamond Award for the Nina Live album. So, kung si Maricel Soriano, Diamond, ano ba siya? The, the Diamond Diva. Ano ba tama kayo? So ako, dahil oh, kaya nagkaroon ng Diamond yung... Uh, uh, kaya nagkaroon ng Diamond, yung Diamond Soul Siren, because I was the first female um, artist to have received the Diamond Award. Um, in the Philippines. So, okay. kaya naging Diamond Soul Siren. Bukod na. Nakaka-proud yun. Nakaka-proud. <laughs> Nakaka-proud talaga. Ay, Naiyak so, nga ako noong time na yun. Grabe. When I received ah, the award. Siguro sa akin yeah. ng mga 1 million listening. <laughs> what, what is Diamond, if you may? If we are to put it into numbers, what is Diamond compared to gold? Di ba parang may ganun? Your gold recipient ng gold record album but diamond is on a totally different scale may yeah. plat gold uh, may diamond platinum. is diamond like, is yeah, a totally platinum. different scale i think um platinum is if i'm not mistaken i uh, during our time nung wala pang mga spotify and everything like platinum was i think 10,000 units ba hindi di ko sure ah. correct me if i'm wrong pero i think 10,000 tama ba che 10,000 units yes. tama ba yes. Yes. Uh-oh, during our time. Tapos, eh, syempre, ang diamond is 10 times platinum. So, 10 times siyang, parang, and, so, and more, uh, parang 300, 300,000 plus plus album sold during our time. So, grabe. Wow. wow. <laughs> and we're talking about actual physical albums yes. that people bought. Correct. The time correct. For you to reach that note. Yes, note. correct. Not Spotify on-demand clicking of yes. a button. This so, is an actual... Physical CD. Very, ano, yes, very physical honored, CDs. very, very flattering sa akin yun. Kasi parang, ano may pinaghirapan talaga na every um, mall tour, mall, mall show, every meet and greet, uh, pinuntahan ako ng mga mga um, fans and all, gumili ng album talaga, physical album. So, paghihirap talaga during our time at least. So, wala pang Spotify yeah. and YouTube and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, nakakatuwa right, talaga. Right, right, right. Blood, sweat, and tears. <clears throat> Grabe, no? I apologize if I get to cut you off sometimes because medyo may delay. Oh, okay lang, okay lang. Oh, yeah. My talking yeah, and, so. your, <clears throat> and your um video. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the next question. What was life like during the pandemic for Luke? Um... Marami akong pinasok ko. <laughs> I thought mm-hmm. I thought Sige I thought nga, 1 month more, lang uh, yung pandemic, parang ah, after 1 month ma- uh, tapos na to ganyan. And then yun na, tag, uh, March <laughs> nag-lock tag, March nag-lockdown dito eh. Uh, and then April hindi pa bumaba, bumabalik hanggang May hindi pa rin. So at the time wala pang mga uh, virtual show so nagbebenta ako ng uh, beauty products, online selling. Uh, kasi wow. meron akong mga beauty products na in-endorse and isang pwedeng gawin as an, as an endorser ay pwedeng magbenta so pinasok ko siya and syempre maraming natatawa mga kaibigan ko, uy ano ba yan, baka lang to ganun siya so, alam, yan, parang, ako naman, sanay naman ako magpakabaklaan, diba so ito, alam po, wala akong totoo na daw o, o, totoo na daw, ganun <laughs> So, ko, nako, okay lang to Basta, alam mo yun, kahit pa paano kumita. So, yun, nagiging online seller ako ng beauty products. Tapos, may kaibigan din ako na nagsusupply din ng uh, mga PPE. So, nagbibenta din ako ng PPE. Uh, so, mga, mga kumpanya, ganit, para, just to sur- survive. Kasi, syempre, may pamilya at may mga anak na. And, uh, doon din nag-start na may mga kaibigan ako may mga small businesses like mga pagkain or uh, mga chocolate cake or ano man dyan na pinapadalhan ako to post it para ma-promote and then minsan uh, binibigyan ako ng honorario minsan wala which is totally fine basta makatulong lang ako so <coughs> yun yung ginawa ako nung pan- pandemic yung kasagsaga ng pandemic talaga lalo ng 2020 that is so <laughs> nice you know talagang everybody has to do whatever it takes for them to um to be able yes. to get by and you know to, to provide what about nina what was life like of a nina during the pandemic well um for me naman during the pandemic oh kasi like i'm uh 
homebody kind of person. So, for me, like for me, para sa akin lang, parang um, nothing has changed kasi sa bahay lang naman talaga ako and yung mga gigs naman talaga online sa awan ng Diyos, may mga dumarating naman na, na online gigs and all. And, um, mas naging siguro, uh, I, I, parang I share the sentiments of the musicians kasi sila talagang they live for live uh, live shows and all. So, if there is a chance na makatulong sa ibang mga musicians, kunyari, um, online show for a cause for the musicians to give back, ganun. Sumasama naman ako. And uh, siguro, w- one thing also then na uh, nakaganda sa akin sa pandemic, hindi ko na lang inisip na nakapangit or something, is I, I became closer with my family. I, I spent a lot of time with my family. Nagkaroon kami ng, ng to bonding together, di ba? And uh, yun, Kumbaga, hindi ko na lang siya tinignan as a, a bad thing. Bad thing siya kasi, syempre, no, maraming nawala ng trabaho, maraming nagsara ng mga um, establishments. Pero, yun, this too shall pass naman. Takit so, parang... That's right, no? Right, so parang they... Since yun naman talaga ang setup mo in your life, parang they all fit into your world this time, no, Nina? Because they're the ones who also stop working and has to stay at home. So, <clears throat> you know, like bonding experience, but with them. Yes. That was beautiful. Okay. Well, just like what both of you mentioned, um, there's also the part where you can still perform via live streaming, no? And when it comes to technicalities of it, lagi tayo may problem, lagi tayo may mga pagdadaanan about that. Um, it became a popular option for artists. How did you start your, actually for Luke, how did you start your live streaming? I know you go live on on Kumu, I believe, and yeah. um, some other platforms. Before, before I uh, started to make Kumu, kaya lang uh, there was a time na, sure, wala kang tulog kasi sa Kumu talagang may kita talaga, sobra. May rami kong kaibigan mm-hmm. na nakabili ng sasakyan, bahay ganyan dahil sa Kumu. Wow. But uh, dahil meron na ako mga health issues in konte. Medyo bumabalik yung hypertension ko nung nagupumo ako pag madaling araw na natutulog. So, kailangan kong huminto talaga. Uh, yun. And, pero, may mga kumpanya naman, uh, si, lalo na si Cheche, binubo kami sa mga corporate shows, malaking bagay yun. Uh, nice. Mga pharma na company. So, dun nako laging nagigig sa mga, ano, mga parties ng kumpanya tapos uh, um, mga events kanya na uh, ano lang online lang lahat so oh, yun, masaya 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 mm-hmm. thank you as for Nina binuhay mo ang Nina Live via <laughs> Facebook and other platforms yeah. I'm so happy to, to watch you on YouTube and Facebook yeah. at all times tell me more yeah, about correct. that yeah, I was about to say that my online journey started with that Nina Live on Facebook thing. And uh, mm-hmm. for me lang, parang wala, um, na-miss ko lang kantaan yung mga tao. So parang everything for me was like, um, if I do something, parang I do it out of like um, pure um, gusto and pure happiness lang. Parang gusto ko lang talagang um, kantaan yung mga tao. And pumatok naman siya yung Nina live on Facebook talaga. Sobrang pumatok yes. siya on the first time. And then, the second year, I did it. Like, it was like the anniversary of the first Nina live on Facebook. And sobra talagang pumatok na naman. Kung baga, nagkaroon siya ng 1 million plus views. And for yeah. me, it was just a bonus. <laughs> it was really just a bonus kasi all I wanted was kasi nag-lockdown talaga on mm-hmm. Last year, ba? Second time around, nag-lockdown kami. So, para mapasaya ko lang yung mga tao, talagang gumawa na naman ako ng nila live on Facebook. So, parang sa, yung iba, sabi nila, Nina was the, the ayuda we we always wanted. Yung mga ganun ba? So, oh. nakakatuwa yung mga, yung mga reactions nila. <laughs> that is true, you know. So, yun, bonus yung pagka gusto nila. Habang nag-drive ko ako dito, or habang nas downtime and chill time, we always listen to your to your Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Talagang nakaka, nakaka-relax. Thank you. It feels, feels like it's back <laughs> home. And it, it, it matters a lot to us. <laughs> the next question that I have is, what it is that you look forward to the most on your upcoming The Love Moves US Tour for both of you, um, Nina and Luke? Let's start with Luke. 
No, marami. Uh, <clears throat> as, as early as now, meron na, meron na kaming uh, inihandang, inihandang uh, line-up para sa mga kababayan natin dyan. And uh, talagang pinili namin yun. Uh, lalo na si Nina at si Cheche. Talagang nag-meeting pa nga sila eh, na-absent ako. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> And yung mga songs doon, talagang hinimay talaga na, alam mo yun, para mapaganda yung show at I'm sure na mag, mag-saya yung mga tao. Uh, wala lang, siguro we just gonna have a good time pagpunta dyan sa States. Uh, ibigay namin kung ano yun namin kaya ibigay sa mga tao para mapasaya sila, lalo na mga kababayan natin. And, Of course, we're gonna sing some OPM songs uh, kasi yun ang hinahanap ng mga tao. And uh, since our, this is the first time na makasama ko si, si Nina ng Out of the Country, ano din to, iba, ibang feeling to kasi iba, ibang crowd eh. Ibang crowd. And then matagal din kami hindi nagka-duet din. Uh, wow. Yun, baka have a good time lang. Talagang ano, and music lang na magpapasaya sa mga Pinoy. Yun lang. Definitely excited about that. <laughs> What about you, Nina? What do you look forward to the most on your U.S. tour? Of course, um, singing with Luke again for the for <laughs> after uh, after a long time, de ba? And uh, <laughs> and being able to share the stage, yeah, with him singing for our Filipino, our kababayans, de ba? Tulad ngayon sabi ni Luke, we have prepared a beautiful do. Wet for everybody and a beautiful lineup lineup of of songs for the show na talagang sana magustuhan ng lahat and uh, shopping di ba <laughs> shopping and roaming around mga ganyan right. di ba hindi na no, nawawala yun oh, after singing so shopping <laughs> shopping <laughs> and isang isang bagay din It's, it's it's my first time na mag-perform sa Chicago. So, and magpunta diyan sa Chicago. So, you look forward ko diyan sa Chicago. Yeah. So excited about that. So, ano pa may pasabog ba that the crowd should expect on the tour? I know that you guys picked the songs and you have prepared a lot for the Kapabayans out here. But um, is there something that specific that they should kind of expect? Pasabog. Mm. Amoy ba to? Pasabog. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede rin yun eh, no? Pwede, di ba? Pasabog. Pasabog. Siguro, ano, kung meron man, secret na lang muna. Oo, oh, diba? oh, nga. Para abangan nila yung pasabog uh, na yan. Oh. Nice. Malay, very good. Ako yung kakanta ng, ano, foolish heart. Ako yung kakanta oh, ng, ano. Ako kakanta ng kahit kailan. Maligtad <laughs> na. <laughs> Sumabog na talaga. Pwede. <laughs> okay, so besides performing, I th- I guess you kind of mentioned the answer. Besides performing, what other things would you want to do or expect to do while you are on tour? You mentioned shopping, Nina. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shopping and roaming around. Ganon. Picture by the park. Park. <laughs> Picture by the stores. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Siguro, What ano about din? you, Luke? Um, Kipagkita uh, ng mga kaibigan, mga kamag-anak. Uh, mm. da- last week, may tumawag sa akin at uh, mga t- taga-Chicago na wife ng uh, brother ko sa isang fraternity. <laughs> na, nag-ano sila na, uy, ano, sampu na kami na manunood, ganyan. So, I'm, you know, Hi. looking forward din na uh, makilala yung mga bisaya dyan sa Chicago. And, uh, Malay natin, pwede silang magbigay ng ano sa amin ni Nina, kasalubong, di ba? Ah, kaya pala na-sold out na yung 10 tickets eh. Kaya pala na-sold out na yung 10 oh. tickets dahil sa 10 na... <laughs> 10 pa oh, lang yun oh, na nabibin. <laughs> Thank you sa mga brad mo. They're so no. looking forward. <laughs> Actually, may nabenta na palang ticket, hindi ko pa nare-release yung mga tickets eh. Tsaka yung poster, no? okay. which I'm so excited to do today. <laughs> I'm gonna do that today, that's today. <laughs> All right, next one is, um, <clears throat> which cities and dates are lined up for this tour? Do you guys know? So, you can kind of promote it now. So, on okay. May, May 7, 
Uh, we're at we're gonna be at Chicago, Illinois, and May 7, Washington D.C., May 14, Jersey City, New Jersey, so May 20, Los Angeles, California, May 21, San Francisco, California, May 27, Houston, Texas, May 28, Dallas, Texas, May 29, San Antonio, Texas, and June 4, sa Portland. Oregon. So, may mga dumadating pa rin. So, after June 4, I think meron pang mga mga dadating na ibang shows. But they can check wow. out the the ano, the ano posters if uh, ever they I, they forgot the dates that I mentioned. Right. So, May 7 is Chicago. I think that's the very Chicago. first um, yes. that we have no, for the tour. Excited kami, no? Because <laughs> um, we're the first. We're the first who will receive oh, ma. <laughs> the great performances of Luke and Nia. <laughs> Boy, naman, no. Thank you. Oh, Thank oh, you so much. Boy, Boy naman, no. You know, <laughs> sa pag-produce ng show sa amin sa... Yes, thank you oh, for no, no. buying the show. <laughs> thank you. It is my honor. Nina, did you mention Washington is also the 7th? Just to be sure. Yes, uh, on the 8th. After Chicago. May 8th. Uh, uh, eight. Eight. Washington, D.C. Oh, May 8th. Wow. kayo pupunta sa Washington right after Mm-mm. Chicago. No? Yes. Wow. Agahan namin dyan Go ahead, guys. Look, sorry. Uh, Oo. I think <laughs> agahan nga natin talaga. Agahan natin para makaikot-ikot. Yeah. Para... Oo nga. Para ma-appreciate I, naman I natin yung Chicago. In Thursday. Hi, I'm Luke Miares inviting everyone dyan sa Chicago sa concert ni Nina na magi-guest ako that's gonna be on May 7 sa Double Tree Hotel Skokie uh, sponsored by One Radio and special thanks to our producer Eric Magundayo thank you so much Okay, to all to all our kababayans in Chicago, Illinois, um, we'll be there on May 7 and the show's gonna be held at the Double Tree Hotel in Skokie. And this show is brought to you by One Radio and our uh, very mabait um, poging producer, Eric Magundayo. Thank you, everybody. See you there. Yeah.